Welcome to 101 with Stephanie. I'm your girl Stephanie. Today I have got an exciting personality I'm going to be having a chat with. You can see me, I'm already full of excitement. I have got Mr. Kim Owar, aka Osofia, live in Australia. We're going to be having a chat with him. I want to find out what has brought him to Australia. Osofia is a director, he's an actor, he's a comedian and he's also a singer. I'm going to let him show you all those facets, those beautiful assets he's got. Come along with me. Janet! Janet! Janet who? Who are you calling? Who are you? Dennis, I'm Dennis. You know me not here. Dennis, my foot. Excuse me. Know me when I'm poor, not when I am rich. You claim relationship. Hello, Sophia. How are you today? I'm fine. Welcome to Australia. Oh, thank you. Are you enjoying your stay here? Yes, yes, I'm enjoying it. I must say I'm enjoying it. Uh, um, the more I have stayed, I've enjoyed it. Really Welcome to Australia. I can't. It's thank just like Australia, um, or Sophia in Australia, just like Sophia in London. That's true. We're so excited to have you. We're going to talk a little bit about um, you. Actually, from what I read, you actually studied engineering. Yes, I did. You went to the did. University of Villori. You're yes, originally from Enugu State yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. So, what was the twist? Doing engineering and coming to do movies. No, see, How there is, is some, that? there is something that, uh, as a growing human being, you wouldn't notice until you grow, because it grows with you. Uh, comedy, I think, has been in me. I didn't even notice it. Until at a stage when I say something, even the scientific words, there's a way I phrase them, people begin to laugh. At a stage, in fact, at the beginning I was hot. If people ask me to pray and I said in Jesus' name, people are laughing. <laughs> you know, it hurts. But somewhere along the line, I started noticing that probably there is something in me that I haven't really discovered. And uh, I channeled my attention towards that direction, and it worked. You have won a swift, swift thing. Accept my sympathy because you are the next victim. That she has this symmetry is because of my money. See me, I eat and grow tiny. This person is a stop. Who's this? Look, she will drain you and finish you and then go. She is taking you to the cleaners. By the time they will so dry clean you, there will be no moisture left in you. You are very talented. I remember I started watching you when I was like 16, 17, back in Nigeria when I was in high school. You are very, I'm very privileged to actually sit next to you right now. Thank you. Um, what I want to find out is you do music, you've done music, like I, yeah. I could chop your money yeah. and all that. What actually, I could chop your dollar. Yeah. What actually motivated you or prompted you to do that? We say music and drama are related. I mean, yeah. One, you can't divorce one from the other. They are all creative. Uh, I am not even surprised that uh, I moved from drama to the... It happens everywhere, even in Hollywood. You see people switching from acting to, to music and uh, vice versa. So I think they are very interrelated. But the thing is whether you will have the time to do both, depending on how engaged you are in one or the other. So when I found out very time, because I've been doing my theme music, in fact, most of my, my, theme, uh, my themes, the ones I produce myself, I do the theme music. And I saw that people are claiming my, my theme music. I said, okay, so why don't I you know, explore this? And we did that. Actually, I could chop a dollar was a theme music from one of the, from the masters. Yeah. So we did that, it was, it was, it was bang. And you've also recently done like you're just so talented. You've done I Got Chop Your Dollar and then you've done there's a Christian song you just yes, did I did as well, a collaboration. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Well I'm a Christian and uh, he, 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 Right from my, ch my childhood, when I was in the choir, I enjoyed Christian music. But as we were growing up, you know, we were trying to diversify and do similar things. But somewhere along the line, when I did music and the thing worked, so why don't I recoup that 
a gospel thing. Yeah. I must say, you're very good at everything you've done. Comedy, oh, movies, singing, you are fantastic in all you do. Thank you. You are in Australia, and we're all very excited. You've come here for a comedy show that's going to be happening on Saturday, the 30th right. um, of March 2013, yes. and you're going to be having one in Perth as well on Sunday. That's right. What should we be expecting? Should we expect to see the real guy that does all the movies, or should we expect a different Sophia? You see, one thing with my comedy, stage comedy yeah. particularly, is that I don't prepare it. I don't okay. pre-prepare it. It comes. It's so just like I told you, I think this is a gift. I use things around me to create this stage comedy. If you come there and listen, why don't like the other people who, there are people who read the thing and they go to book and all that and all that. They still have their talent, but they can't just do it without programming themselves. I do it, I just open my mouth and it flows. And I thank God for that. So, uh, on, on, uh, on the day of the show, yeah. I don't think I have people, but I know exactly it's going to threaten, I'm going to threaten people. Okay. The other time they were asking me, I said, look, people should come with their, their ribs and I'll put it in a basket. <laughs> or the other way around, you can put your ribs in a basket and when you come, I will yeah. stitch it. <laughs> I've still been having a chat with Sophia. He does not just do movies, he does not just sing, he's got a passion for young people. He's actually started his own school back in Nigeria. I'm going to let him tell us a little bit about that school. Well, uh, the school's a non school of cinematography. Uh, actually, it was my manager, one of my managers, that uh, it, when people were flooding to my office and they were saying, oh, please, you know, after audition, each audition, you just come telling me, please, can you tell me how to do this so that I can pass the audition? And I said, no, it's not for me. If you have it in you, it's in you. So one of my managers came and said, look, why don't you make this informal and then begin to we establish it. Yeah. So the thing came on, on board and I had plenty of students. I had students from even other parts of, of Africa. I had uh, students from Canada. I had students from Liberia. I had students from, uh, from Ghana. So we started it as an experiment. And it started working. And I had to go and bring in uh, some people to teach because I can't teach everything. Yeah. I just have to concentrate on the ones where I know I can deliver. So, little by little things started. In fact, it was one of the first ones that we established in, in Lagos before other people started to be around. It was, now I want to move it down to the east because in Lagos it's like more or less it's flooded in a lot of places. So I want to move it to where people need most of them, yeah. which is uh, in is my plan. Yeah. Considering you've got this strong connection with young people and you've actually established your own school where you train those young people to become where you, where you are right now and to do better things, what advice would you tell every young person out there who's aspiring to get into the movie industry, either here in Nigeria, in Nigeria or wherever, what advice would you give to them? The advice I normally give them is to first of all look in water and know whether you have it. If you don't have it, don't go to waste your time yeah. there. If you can learn it, it still means that you have it. It's not everybody that's given the gift just like that. There are people who imbibe it by learning. If you know you can learn it, but if you try, 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 it's not there. Leave it. <laughs> know that, I mean, your talent is in another direction. Yeah. Because you might be wasting your time trying to see if you can grab with this when your real talent is wasting. So that is normally my and don't be in a haste. You know, if, if you have it gradually, things are not easy. Not, things are not easy in Nigeria, things are not easy outside Nigeria. So if you want to really, really make it, you have to persevere. You have to tarry and then, you know, be that industrial and then put more zeal to it. Eventually, if you have it, it will, it will, it will click. That's the advice and I don't mean it. That's words of wisdom coming live from Osofia himself. If you're out there, you want to be what you want to be, this advice is something you have to take on board. Which movie so far has been your favorite or which one have you, have you had so much fun playing? 
Well, favorite, I normally tell them that it's a favorite in terms of what? I classify them. There are people who, some people say, what is your best for? I say, in terms of economy or in terms of, uh, you know, popularity and all that. There are some of these, the my movies that are so popular. Yeah. Yet the income that came, you know, with it, and not, it's not much. There are those who are not so wonderfully popular, but they brought in a lot of dough. So, <laughs> but there is one particular one. I have a sentimental attachment to it. And why do I have this attachment to it? Because when I was growing up, they call it King of the Forest, something like that. I, don't, I can't remember all the titles. Uh, King of the Jungle, King of the Jungle, King of the Forest. That was a story my grandmother told me when I was, taught when I was much uh, younger. And I found myself, it's a fairy tale kind of theme. So when I now came to act, that particular one. He was thinking, I was saying, now me acting that story that was told by my uh, grandmother. And because of my link with my grandmother, the thing has, you know, it's stuck. Yeah. If I tell you, maybe it didn't make much in terms of banknotes, but that attachment made me love that film very much, particularly that film. Wow. I hope everybody out there will go look for that movie because I want to. I want to go see that movie. Oh, you wanna... see it. If you look for it, you see it. I, I have I to go. I have to go look for it. I have to go honestly look for it. But I know you've done movies with so many great people, especially yes. in Nigeria and all those places. If there was somebody you, is there somebody you've always wanted to work with that you haven't worked with? A lot of them. A lot of them. There's something in movies. You know, I have my idols in movies. Yeah. Even in Nollywood, I have people. Even the upcoming artists. There are people who are so good at it. Now I watch them all, they thrill me so much. But I haven't had the opportunity of working with them. I would want to work with them. I don't have to start mentioning one or two or three. I have worked with many already. There are those who are very, very good, who I have this rapport. I, 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 uh, starting from the elders to the, the young ones to the, the kid actors and actresses. Uh, Okay, let me just talk about one person because this is some local if I have this rapport. At times we don't even use scripts. Once we know the essence, he's throwing it at me and I'm throwing it at him and all that. There are lots of them who are still existing. But I'm just trying to single him out because he's deceased now. Yeah. You know, so that people do not hear to me so rest in perfect peace. So so that people do not say I don't, I have a lot of them I would want to work with, even the upcoming artists. But one day, well, I can't achieve all the things I want to achieve, but it's a tricky thing. Yeah, it's a gradual process. But what, I want you to leave one lasting impression. So we don't say, how are you doing? It's how you going, mate. Say something start, like that. Start telling me now. <laughs> I'm it's telling a, you. Okay, how are so you going, So you say, mate? how are you going, mate? How are you going, mate? Yeah. What is the mate there for? <laughs> it's like mate. So brother, you know how oh, you say brother? Right, 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 right. So I'll you say, go, how are you going, going, mate? I'll, go, I'll get a mate. <laughs> mate. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It's like when we were doing ourselves in London, I would say, good morning, so. <laughs> so I just picked on that very so. Yeah. <laughs> I know a mate. <laughs> That's a Sophia for you. He is the most fun-filled person to have a chat with. Intellectual, emotional, fantastical, as a barista. My love for you is legal, fundamental.